Hello, students, and anyone else that's watching. I'm not quite sure who this video is for. I think mostly it's going to be for myself. This is our new GB800 fuel injector test bench. This is replacing the old New Age 4 that we had for probably closer to 15 years or better. This is a much larger one. It's going to allow me to flow eight injectors at the time, which is pretty nice. It has a very nice viewing window for the pattern. So this is a huge step up from what we've had in the past. Now, when I unbox it, put it together, there were a couple things that I noticed I did not have that I did with the old machine. One was I could not get this to go into a continuous mode where I could flow the injectors again continuously or in a static state. The other thing that I did not have or could not find on there was demo mode. Uh, the demo mode was always nice with the older machine. I could set that up into demo mode, let the students watch it. Uh, sometimes I'd put my scope on and we'd get to watch current ramp as well as injector voltage pulses. Uh, also, it exercised the injectors, getting them nice and warm, ready for actual testing. So I couldn't figure out how to do that on this machine either. So I called Kerry Green at GB Remanufacturing, and he walked me through the procedure. And uh, I'm going to attempt to show you how it's done while it's still sort of fresh in my memory. Uh, and again, this is probably mostly for me. If for some reason it loses the ability to flow continuously or to do the demo mode, I can come back to this video and watch it and then redo it again. Okay, in order to go into the demo mode, I have a special procedure that I have to do. It's going to turn the machine off, and then I'll turn the machine back on again and immediately hold that stop cancel button until I see language come in. So let's zoom in on this a little bit. All right, we'll turn the machine off. Leave it off for a few seconds. All right, we'll turn the machine on. There's that hold button. Wait for it. Now it comes into language. Now, from the language, I'm going to hit the F button. And now I've got the peak current. Again, this is for the GDI. So I'm going to move the down arrow down again. And now it says demo mode enable. There's a zero there indicating that it is disabled. So I hit a right button. I now have a one. I can go ahead and hit my enter. And that will save it. Now, when I want to enter the demo mode, I'll go ahead and enter the vehicle like I'm going to run a test. I'll go to user. Sure, let's do them all. Well, let's not do all of them. The demo mode will do all of these if I leave them selected. So let's not select some of them. And now we have demo available. There's nothing to drain. Now we should begin.
Okay, in order to activate the continuous mode, we need to go ahead and enter the information here. So we're going to select vehicle, more report, group fire, top feed, A injectors, yep. When it user, let's go ahead, we can do all. I want group fire. But now that the demo is activated, we need to choose manual. All right, it's telling me to wipe off the injectors. I don't want the coil test, so I'm going to push it down to the next test. That's injector bench. Okay, at this point, if I go up and down through my menu here, see some of these pre-selected tests that I already have in there. So what I need to do is to change one of those so it's a continuous flow. I'm going to choose this bottom one here, I think, maybe, and we'll see how that goes. Now, I need to hit the F button. I'm going to move it to the right. I'll hit the right arrow one more time. That now puts me into the first millisecond, okay, or the first value for my pulse width. I'm going to push and hold the down arrow until that goes away and hopefully continuous will pop up. Now we've got continuous, continuous, I'm going to hit enter. Now it should remember that this last test is a continuous flow test. Let's find out. Alright, I'm just going to back all the way back. And we'll start all over again just to make sure it's in there. So. All right, we'll build it. All right, BFI, that's lovely. Group fire, top feed. I'll get eight injectors. Sure, we'll say it's a set. I went user. I don't want to do all procedures now. We're just going to say no. I don't want the coil test. The only thing I'm interested in is the bench test now. I get a chance to do the bench test twice before cleaning or after cleaning. Well, both maybe. I'm just going to say before cleaning. Cleaning, no back flush, no after clean or after flow, no injector leak. There we go. All right, we'll do standard. I want to do a manual. All right, wipe the dirt off the injectors. I don't want the coil test. I want to do the bench test. Okay, I'm going to go down to the last test on this menu. Hopefully it still says continuous. And there it says continuous. So if I hit enter, it should flow my injectors. And in this case, I've got the time set for 30 seconds. Let's see what happens. Okay, well, hopefully this will help me out in the future if I uh, lose these settings. And if any of you have a uh, relatively new GB800, or it might work with the GB400, I don't know, uh, and you're looking to get demo mode, and for some reason continuous mode is not on your machine, well, hopefully you can follow this and get it, uh, get it set up that way. Well, thanks for watching.